everyone uh, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, the different way that we can use in implementing the uh, binary trees uh, in uh, Java or in uh, a functional language uh, specifically an SML inspired functional language uh, uh, which is in this case F sharp um, the structure of the tree is that we have a leaf node and the leaf node may uh, will contains only uh, a name of an animal and uh, if it is not uh, a leaf node, it is a, an intermediate no node or a non-leaf node, then it contains a question. And then there are two sub-tree, two sub-branches, uh, that contains other um, knowledge tree. And uh, the happens that here the sub-tree that we have as a sub-branch sub are uh, leaf node that contains two animals, elephant and, and here mouse, and so everything is consistent with the idea that the question is able to discriminate the uh, yes branch and the no branch. So when we say it is big, then it's likely that the right answer is contained starting from the uh, root node that is contained in the yes branch, and the same way in no branch. Now, so consider that we may have a more complex binary tree because, uh, for instance, uh, the no branch leads to another question. So the question is that we have still in all the knowledge base in the no branch small animal but uh, uh, they are categorized into the dif different uh, category uh, the insect and the non-insect so in this branch we can have an ant and no branch we have a mouse so everything is functional for uh, the idea of uh, writing a program that play a, a sort of game where the engine start um, guessing which one could be the animal that is uh, thought by the player. If uh, the engine doesn't uh, uh, give the right answer, then there is still the opportunity to increase knowledge base, base adding question and uh, uh, that uh, can uh, be able to make a distinction between the uh, animal that is actually thought by the user and the animal that is guessed by the engine. Um, now, let's take a look at the Java version and one possible implementation that contains some smell is uh, uh, this one uh, we have an interface and the interface is implemented by a uh, leaf node and non leaf node but the interface declare all the possible methods uh, including the methods that uh, have no sense for some kind of uh, specific implementation of node for instance get animal doesn't have any sense for a non leaf node which means that the get animal returns a null value which is uh, we may not agree we don't agree with the, the solution so there is uh, some kind of refactoring and so we have a node which contains uh, only the uh, methods that are common to all the possible implementation and an implementation which is in, uh, uh, I mean leaf node then it does implements the animal and the non leaf node does not implement the animals and uh, moreover uh, the non leaf node implements a specific interface that declares the get animal this is one way to uh, face the problem and there are also other smells that we can find uh, given that this kind of implementation I don't want to go too much further on it another thing that we can consider is here we have an uh, over uh, the uh, equals is overridden and uh, it is overridden because uh, uh, one of the reasons to override the equals is that in this way we can make the uh, test work as expected for instance we have a expected and actual result and we have uh, the assert equals um, that uh, uh, can work if we uh, redefine the equals otherwise the result will still be uh, consistently false uh, each time the node is a, a, a different structure, I mean a different uh, um, memory location. This is uh, more or less the way that the standard equals with no... Uh, uh, when the equals is not rewritten, the standard equals give uh, results consistent only with the idea that two objects are, the are equals only if they are the really the same object, uh, the same memory location and so on. So for that reason, we have to uh, we uh, had to redefine the equals, but uh, it 
uh, create a lot of boilerplate code. Now let's take a look at a possible equivalent solution in language like F Sharp. We have the same meaning here. Uh, we knowledge tree can be uh, or an animal or a subtree, which is a little bit different. A known lift node, a subtree is a known lift node, and the known lift node contains a question and the yes branch and no branch. Everything is on this two lines of code and we have uh, everything consistent with uh, what we want including when we are using the equals in the um, in the unit test and we can we can take a look at them uh, later now um, another thing that we can uh, observe is that we have a state and the state um, is um, use it to make sure that we have a different meaning, different behavior uh, in uh, the different uh, situations. So one situation is when this game is started, one situation is then when uh, is inviting to think of an animal, in another uh, uh, state is when we are guessing, so on and so forth. So, and so we are using this state discriminated union and the behavior that I've I, I did talk, I talked about just now, is uh, used in um, in uh, a um, pattern matching based function and we can take a look at it now when we say here we have a pattern matching so uh, given a particular state then we have different behavior and this is the way we are using the states uh, and everything is on this like 20 30 line of code uh, let's take a look at the equivalent in the java solution we have the state this is based on state pattern and the behavior are all this step is based on polymorphism polymorphism and we have a step and the step is um, a function that uh, is different uh, giving different states and so the guessing is all this line of code whereas the uh, guessing here um, so I can Well, comments. So they are uh, defined here, and the um, behavior is uh, based on a few uh, based on uh, the cases that are considered in uh, all the pattern matching. So this is one random thought about uh, the pitfalls on the object oriented, the difference in uh, implementing uh, the same solution in. Uh, um, in a, a functional language, a strongly typed uh, SML based syntax uh, functional language like F sharp. Uh, one last thing, as we can see, is an implementation that is uh, based just playing on the Elmish. This is a kind of a standard Elmish uh, sample, and I added the animal quits here, which is the game that we we're talking about just now and uh, I have submit click an animal so here we have only a leaf node which is an elephant I say I am it is not the elephant the one that I'm thinking about so I say no so he's trying to um, arrange a new knowledge tree based on a new question so the first thing that he needs to know is which kind of animal was it was mouse and uh, what question I can use to distinguish b uh, between the two is it big and so the answer should be um, uh, no, because the mouse is not big. And so now we start again, think about an animal, and the question is, is it big? Now, suppose that I am thinking, let's take a look at the example that we have seen here. And so is it, uh, we, I, I do think uh, to an, an about an ant. And so is it big? No. Is it a mouse? It is not a mouse. It is... Um, and is it an insect? And so the answer to in is it an insect is yes. Okay, start again. Now let's just uh, do um, navigation uh, from the root to the um, end. It, it means that we can do in this way. Is it big? No. Is it an insect? Yes. Is it an ant? Okay. This is the way it uh, it works. Um, so, uh, a quick recap. 
I think that uh, it's not uh, um, just uh, uh, like fashion, a new hype, the functional. I think it gives uh, the possibility to create more compact program, the program that we don't have to deal with uh, some strange questions and uh, problems and uh, uh, refactoring uh, uh, about things that we happens that we don't like so much which is uh, no this is must not be an interface it must be an abstract class uh, the implementation is like this or like that even if we uh, find the right solution after two or three um, uh, ideas uh, then uh, the refactoring is not uh, uh, easy it could consider we may have to work on a lot of uh, material for instance, uh, when I decided to switch from this implementation, this node I, to another implementation, this node, then I had to uh, touch a lot of stuff and I decided to uh, create a parallel implementation with the stuff that I had to touch in the new implementation, in the new way, according to this uh, change. And I had to change uh, all this red files are the files the new version of old files so i had the get the answer state now i have the getting answer refactored state and so i had to make a new version of all the states a new version of the main class uh, and a new version of uh, other things like state context so that means that uh, probably uh, we made some mistakes when we decided to focus on the object oriented the object oriented uh, will is likely to be surpassed by by uh, other way of uh, solving problem uh, particularly the functional thank you ciao